Hey everyone, it's Amador. And we finally finished decorating our house for Christmas. Excuse the cables, oh my goodness. Um, let me start with, and I apologize in advance for the shaky video. I went ahead, now this base I got from Michaels last year, and this year they turns out they had them also. And I went ahead and put, I cut out a stencil with my cameo. And it says Amador and Nathan's Christmas Tree Farm. I actually moved that little deer of mine so I can show you guys. And I used Annie Sloan chalk paint in the Amsterdam green. It's one of the new colors she just came out with. But here is one of my deer, which no matter what theme, no matter what I do, I will always have these deer. Um, and this is a little baby one. And I went ahead and took the ribbon and I gave it a little scarf because the mommy, I gave a little bow right here. And here they are. So let me just show you. And sorry for the boxes and stuff in the back. Like, we are just about to start. We've just started, finished cleaning, excuse me. But this is our tree. And we're going for, like, a bit of a cottage. I used what I had last year. And we put up most of the same things. This is a marquee light. It's a star. It's a wooden-based marquee light. So instead of just a traditional star on top, that is what we went with. And here is just a little close-up. And I have mason jar light covers i got those from amazon there's some mason jar ornaments that marilyn g was kind enough to find for me and these are just stars that i cut i had these last year and i cut them out out of wood grain paper they're just um prim looking stars and then i wrapped some wire around it that was a little pinterest inspired situation there now this antler there's one antler on the tree the funny thing is i wanted to buy them and dry brush them with any sloan old white chalk paint and when I went back, they're all sold out because of course everything in Hobby Lobby is 50% off now and they're like losing their minds. So here are some little things. It's a cute little jar ornament that uh, P sent me. Hey P. Um, hey ladies, everybody. Uh, so here are just some little, little uh, things that I could show you. The garland I made from fabric last year. These are, um, Tilda shaped gingerbread cookie ornaments that I made. There's some array of ornaments, just some light reds and stuff. This one we just made like half an hour ago. Um, it's from, it's the little first thing that I had in Nathan's, um, we have a couple's advent calendar and he filled in half the numbers and I filled in the other half. So he got to open the first today and it was these little Lego figures or like mystery packs. And it was a Mickey Mouse. So we put it in a, in a mason jar with a little Christmas tree. So let me show you just that on this part. And again, I apologize for the shaky video. We wanted to put one of those antler heads. And this is just the paper mache one from, um, from Hobby Lobby. And I went ahead and I just dry brushed it with some old white any salon chalk paint. As you can see right there. And then I adhered it with... 3M mountain fo mounting foam that I'd figured on this mirror that was on the other side of the of the living room So I just because I I put it up first and you couldn't see it because it's white So I figured on that and I was thinking of putting some plaid paper on there, but I it didn't work out So anyway, so this is now this is this big wooden plank that actually goes to our um, This massive box that my parents have but that's a whole other story. So anyway Here are some more of those stars it was just a, uh, um, a swag with uh, which I added pine cones to and some of these stars. And these are our stockings. I was going to get a different stocking because uh, these uh, pink Juicy Couture ones really didn't go with the um, our lumberjack cabin kind of uh, feel that we have going on. But um, we didn't get, I didn't get a chance to, so I just went ahead and left them. And I'm like, look, it has fur, so you know, it's a little cabiny, a little lumberjacky, I guess. But that's mine. Fifi's, and these are very old. These I've had these for like five something years or whatever because Juicy doesn't make them anymore. Um, and that is Nathan's, the one, the knit one. So we're going to pan down and show you guys a little vignette. Let me pan back a little bit. This is a little vignette. See, and that's, this, the, we call it the coffin. And we just have it there and we have like some toys, some decor stuff. The movies and everything is back there. And that is a little advent calendar. And I will go through that in a minute. But, oh, and that's the wrapping paper we're going to use this year. So this is a cute little vignette that I made. Um, I just put together. The shelves are from the top of another shelf. I'll show you guys that momentarily. 
but this is a cool Santa robot. We've had this one for years. That's a little vintage Pepsi um, bottle holder. And I went ahead and sprung, strung these lights, just haphazardly strung the lights, so, um, the Mercury lights, which are also on the Christmas tree. Some of these faux snowballs I made. There's one of the gingerbread pillows I made. I just threw some little things in there just for a little, just a little, you know, a little feel. Um, these are those skis, those wooden skis that you got at like the dollar spot at Target. Like, I think they have them this year too. I just wrapped some ribbon around it and put some snowballs in there, a little sprig of berries. Now, don't laugh. This project isn't even done yet. This um, mailbox, this horribly painted mailbox, I got from Home Goods. They just opened up a Home Goods on my side of town. So they had that, and honestly, I bought it with the intention of painting it anyway, but the painting paint job is horrible. Um, it says North Pole Express, and there's a, just a vintage Jingle Bell on the floor. Um, and that's the color that I'm gonna paint it with. I'm gonna paint it in Amsterdam green, just like the lettering of the um, the base, of the uh, galvanized base for my, um, so you can see it right here for the Christmas tree. And also, as you can see, it's fa it, the, the tub is like standing right side up. I had to find a whole new stand for the tree because I specifically want it to go that way because I don't like it. I think it looks kind of funky when it's upside down, but the letters are right side up. I'm like, whatever. So anyway, and here is just literally some of this stuff. I got this, um, this cage thing, this ca dome cage at Bloom, along with a few other things that you guys will see along the way. Um, I just put that stuff in there. This is a little um, wagon that I found. I don't even know where. Like I said, I just strung the lights through there. That um, vintage tra um, train um, bag I also got from Bloom. They have um, they have like a parking lot sale once a year, and they have tons of stuff. So I got that for like five bucks. So and just just a little Christmas tree that I had. I was I used it last year in my in my craft room. But I figured, you know, I'll just use it out here because I wanted a little tree to go in the little wagon. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. All right. So this is the garland. This is the same garland that I have on the the uh, lid of the coffin, as I call it. And I added pine cones and there's some vintage little jingle bells and those wood stars. Now these gorgeous, gorgeous little gingerbread, I cannot, gingerbread men, I cannot take credit for that. These were actually made by P. Hey, P. The, she, P is like, and she's Whimsical Endeavors. You guys check her out. She has patterns and all kinds of gorgeous things. And if I'm not mistaken, that's a little Lily of the Valley tag with a little vintage um, Jingle Bell. She made one for me and Nathan, and I wanted to put them here um, where we have the advent calendar. So I have a video for how I made the little advent calendar. These are just little bags from um, whatever little craft store you want to get them from. And these tags are from the Comfort, in my mind's eye, Comfort and Joy. They have um, the tags for, either you, for you to either do a uh, countdown calendar, or an advent calendar, or to do your um, December daily, which I'm gonna do also with that collection. So all I did was I just decorated the bags, and I, like it's on the video, so I'll leave the link in the description. Nathan already opened the first one because I filled in the odds, so he gets open the odds, and vice versa. And this way I felt that was something cute because that way, Everybody gets a treat, you know, like if you do you could do this in your household and divide it up by three or four people You know if maybe the kids want to do it for grandma or something like that, something like that um, And they're just you know little clothespins, and I absolutely love it. So we filled half of it last night and um, And I have pictures of that. I'll probably I'll, I'll, I'll throw in little pictures of here of Nathan being a goofball and I made him do it to um to open those little bags so i get to open number two tomorrow and um for the little bags because so i can use them again for whatever reason i just have this little wooden strawberry basket and they will fit right in there so yeah and since we've been decorating we've been playing um christmas music so that is oops, once again my big fat thumb look at that and this is fifi's um fifi you want to say hi thieves hey fifi hello to the world See, of course, she's getting attention. This is a cute little uh, Mickey Mouse head that I got from Petco. This is her, this is, here's the little, the ear. This is an early, this is an early Christmas present. Say bye, Vivi. You love my doggy. So continuing on my little uh, Christmas decor tour, 
Um, off of the kitchen is a little dining, a little tiny dining area. I have, we have a really small house. It's like a little bungalow style house and this big table, which honestly is too big for this little, little area. And this is where I have our Christmas village. And there's a new addition. Oh, and look, this is, I, I've shown this before. This is our China hutch. Not a piece of China in there. They're uh, Nathan's Funko collections, vinyls, and other uh, nerdy, geeky things. So anyway, back to this. Um, I have tons of tons of little snow basically everywhere, but I like my village to look like an actual setting, not just like you know, just houses stacked on top of each other. Um, this is a little town square basically, and the little houses in the village that go around. Um, let me see. So starting over here. Oh, and look, this is how crazy I am. I have to have like the la the light, the street lamps like <laughs> co coinciding. This is a little house. They have a little nativity scene, a little daycare, and I absolutely love these. Oh my gosh! And yes, these little lamp posts that actually light up and light on and off. I actually got from Terry. Um, if you're watching Terry, hey Terry, she is Stamps Alive, and she's my Copic dealer. And yeah, they were so cool. They actually light up. And here's the train, little train station. Super, I love, fell in love with this train. Um, I absolutely love it. There's a little pet shop. I don't forgot what that was. A little yeah, cupcake shop. And of course, my village has a Joann's, right? I really wish they had a Michael's. If they did, I would totally have it. And this is the newest addition to my village, you guys. Absolutely love, 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 love it. Um, I found this in, um, they had these in California. We were, when we were there for Disneyland, we we're going to Disneyland. And I'm not sure if it's intended for the village, but it went on my village. And I just strung these little tiny, um, tiny lights all the way around. And I used glue dots, glue dots, glue dots to keep them on. But look how cute. I love it. You guys know I'm addicted to Starbucks. Um, and we actually have a Starbucks tree. Oh my goodness. The TARDIS is not on. And... A little nod to Nathan. Look, we even have a TARDIS. And if you guys are looking for the right size TARDIS for your Christmas village, I, I put this in my last video last year. Um, we got that from Barnes and Noble. Um, at the entrance of the, or like when you're leaving through the, you know, the little, um, what are those called? Like the little um, impulse buys and those little boxes that have like little books and trinkets. That's from that. And it actually lights up. Isn't that awesome? See? So you can actually go through the little town. There's also there's Santa. I just I, I love it to look like an actual scene. And there's Santa taking pictures over there. With the little reindeer. The little lampposts. And see like the light the um street lights light up. The little tree lot. I absolutely love it. This is my passion, like, oh my gosh, my Christmas village, I love it, I love it. Love it! So this is the last one I'm going to show you, and this tree is like in between the main tree and the kitchen. This is our Starbucks tree. We have some ornament, or ornaments, <laughs> ornaments here that Nathan got for me, that also Carol, she's one happy crafty chick here on YouTube, hey Carol. And we have some from Disneyland, on oh, that cool sign in the back over there. This tree we actually got from Target. I don't know, um, when you guys go to Target on top of the displays, they have these trees and I totally fell in love with it. And we were walking through there and Nathan's like, look, and it was in a box. It's number 41 if you guys are looking for it as well. And they sell it. I was, I, I, would meaning, I had, <laughs> had meant to ask if they sold it or not. And I absolutely love it. Oh, and this one, this is the new one that came out this year, this big one. Then there's a little medium one in there, and this little teeny tiny one. And also the star Nathan found it at Target, and it went perfectly. And this ribbon, this ribbon I actually got like last year on clearance for like two bucks or something. I don't know if it was at Joann's or Michael's or where, but I just, you know, I just took it off the roll and strung it up there. I wanted, because it's such an empty space, because I t I've been wanting one of these trees. You see it has the empty spaces right here. Like I've been wanting one of those. And I just wanted something to lighten it up and give it more more of a whimsical little look. And in here we have, I have all sorts of ornaments and some little tiny Tilda gingerbread um, 
ornaments that I made as well. That one is from the California Adventures. And we also have, I threw up some of the, threw in some of the stars as well. And we even have some of the plastic ones, the, the cold cups. And looky here, I have a barista. I finally got one. I don't know why it took me forever to get one, but I got one this year and I totally, totally love it. Now these little vintage deer, vintage style deer, actually came from Hobby Lobby, I swear. Like, this seems like a Hobby Lobby ad. They better send me something. Um, they're just little vintage deer, and I liked how, how they looked, and they had a sitting one and a standing one. Ironically, though, they didn't have them at the same time. And I just panned down, and here is just this little vintage sleigh, vintage style um, snow flyer sleigh. And I just put up these little, um, these little bunnies, these bunnies, and just bunnies in general, just mean something special to Nathan and I, so. And then I just, just to throw in some stuff, I threw in some acorns and some um, some jingle bells, some little sprigs of holiday stuff to um, to just kind of act. So like that's it. our Christmas decor for this year. Um, sorry for the odd lighting; it's like barely six o'clock, but of course, you know um, the sun goes down sooner now. And but I just wanted to share that with you guys. Thank you for stopping by. Um, I'm going to try to attempt, I'm going to do a December daily today, I mean this year, and I'm going to try to do a December daily vlog. I don't know how that's going to work out, but we're going to find out. If anything, I'll have like little treats that we can open to, to share with you guys. But this was, I had planned to have all of this done and decorated before. Um, so many things happen and, and so many things going on. So we actually finally finished today on the first. So happy December, everybody. Hope everybody is having a wonderful, wonderful Christmas season. Yes, I do say Merry Christmas, I'm sorry. Um, but I hope everybody is enjoying it. I'm, I'm dying to see what everybody, how everybody else is decorating. And I will also have a um, curating Christmas video coming up. That's um, Jill, Jill Norwood does this beautiful thing every year. So I will have that coming coming soon but right now my craft room looks like crazy so yes so thank you guys for stopping by and i will talk to you guys soon bye everyone